today released their findings in the forensic evidence collected from the March 15th and 19th sexual assaults in the Lake Highlands community of Dallas. No problem. You bet. The DNA profile from these offenses matched the DNA profile obtained from the February 22nd offense. We have one suspect. The DNA profile has been entered into statewide and national databases. No match was identified. He is unknown to us and to anyone else at this time. The department is releasing the sketches from the February 22nd and 15th offenses to go along with the suspect descriptions we have already shared with the media. The victim from the 19th offense, that would be March 19th, was unable to provide a sketch. And I'll just stop for here for just a second. This is the sketch from February 22nd, and the one on the right is the sketch from March 15th. This is important here. The suspect <clears throat> from the March 19th attack was scratched and bitten during the attack. We will, he will have multiple scratch, scratches on his face, his cheeks, and, and or his neck. He will also have bite marks on his hands, fingers, and in particular, he should have a deep laceration on at least one finger. I want to take this opportunity to thank the uh, Lake Highlands community and everyone else that has provided tips uh, to the Dallas Police Department. They have been very beneficial. To date, we have received over 100 tips, yet we continue to need more assistance. So I encourage everyone to keep calling with everything that they can, every suspicious act, every suspicious car, every suspicious person. We need your continued support. Major, uh, One second, please. Uh, and I think that'll stop. <laughs> you know what, I want to make sure, and you know, you guys can kind of do this in your own words, please. Uh, we need them to call 911. So when, we, when they have those suspicious persons, activity, behaviors, vehicles that information needs to go to 911 so we can respond to that immediately there's a tip line at the northeast uh, substation that tip line is 214-670-4415 i'm going to talk a little bit about crime stoppers but i really want you to put this in your, your own words to help us out with this crime stoppers uh, we've had a, a very generous anonymous donor who has contributed additional money to crime stoppers crime stoppers is now paying up to twenty five thousand dollars for the arrest and indictment of this suspect. Now, in order for someone to be eligible for the Crime Stoppers reward, they have to provide the tip on Crime Stoppers. So that's the part where I want you guys to figure out how you want to put it in your own words for me. So if you can get that message out, and the Crime Stoppers number is 877-373-8477. 877-373-8477. Seven, seven. And I do have a little bit of time for some questions. Yes, sir. Well, the first question, I see two different drawings. Obviously, uh, you know, we've gone through, in Dallas County, misidentification before. Tell us, what are we looking for? Is that a black male? Is that a Hispanic male? Is that a, you tell me. I don't know. And, and, the, and the point there is, is that our victims uh, provided this information to us, and they, in, they encountered a very violent attack. Uh, this information uh, is through their trauma, and this is what they can provide us. Uh, based upon the individual dynamics of their attack, this is what they can give us. And so, I don't know, sir. It, our, our suspect can be black, he can be dark complected, he can be Hispanic. Don't know yet. So it's one guy. It is one guy, yes ma'am. But you have two different descriptions of what he may look like. But it's one guy. The DNA profile tells us it is one guy for all three. The so fact that the, just you, looking, well, I'm sorry, go ahead. looking at the three sexual assaults, the first two involved broken windows, the third one involved him um, coming in the door, kicking the door down. Does that signal that he was getting older or that his pattern changed? He's responsible for three attacks on women. Uh, yes, ma'am, he's bold. So yes, we're sir. looking at the same person just through different eyes. Is that what you're saying? That, that would be one way to put it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, so you're looking for one suspect. I'm, you're not looking for multiple. You I'm cleared looking, the other guy. I am looking for one suspect. Yes, sir. I need the support of the community to help us. Do you fear that he might, um, or does, uh, 
Uh, it's okay. Um, it's okay, Rebecca. <laughs> do you uh, fear that he might um, hit anywhere else? Have you had any other calls, similar calls of a suspect matching this description in any other areas of Dallas? Because they keep on so much in the highway. You know, the the, the okay. tips the tips are coming in, and and a lot of that information pertains to the information that we've already put out, and and the community is seeing that, and they're they're being responsive. So we have some similarities, yes, but obviously we don't have an arrest, and uh, to our knowledge, we do not have another offense by the suspect. I am concerned. Uh, he's out there. Uh, he's, he's already demonstrated uh, that he's, he's capable of doing these three offenses in a, a very short period of time in a very uh, concentrated area. So I, I am concerned, Rebecca, and, I, and I, I, we need her help. And because um, you guys were going around doing the sex offender registration, are y'all going to scale back on that since he's not obviously a registered sex offender? Every, every tool we have in the toolbox is being used. Does this change I'm, your approach at all? I'm sorry to interrupt you. You can answer everything to the middle. So that I will try. You guys are tired of looking the side yeah, of my face? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I got you. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Does this change your approach at all? Does anything change at this point now that you have narrowed it down to one guy? It, it, it does assist us. It is beneficial that we know we're only looking for one suspect. I hope the community understands that it's really beneficial we're only looking for one spec suspect and that we don't have three predators, we have one. But we do have a predator and we need their help. And do you have an overall description that will help us uh, get the word out, like height? I mean, is it, does it vary that much, height and weight? We've, we've provided the descriptions and again, you know, those are from the perspectives of our victims. So I, I honor that. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, one more. Uh, hang on, Paul. We're gonna we're gonna send these out. Um, like we'll make it available on a PDF, and I will send out the descriptions of each of the different offenses, list the height and weight, and all the on the profile. I'll send that out again today. 